Concrete Antenna is a sound installation created by Simon Kirby, Rob St. John and me, Tommy Perman. It was commissioned by the Edinburgh Sculpture Workshop to inaugurate the new landmark tower situated on their site in New Haven. The triangular tower, constructed from poured concrete and brown brick, rises 28 metres high over the North Edinburgh skyline. It's very rare for a modern structure like this to be built at all, given that at first glance it has no obvious purpose. You can walk inside, but you can't climb up to see what must be an incredible view of Edinburgh from the top. The tower stands on the site of the original sculpture workshop, an old tram shed, which was demolished to make way for this new building. The tower's south wall faces onto the cycle path that runs along an old railway line leading to Leith Docks. The tower is open to the elements and 22 metres up the south wall there's a large rectangular opening which funnels sound and plenty of wind and rain down to the ground and out of the open doorway like a giant resonating antenna. We saw Concrete Antenna as an opportunity to work with sound as a means of sketching creative ways of making sighted artwork. So on one hand, in using a variety of site-specific sound gathered from archives and new field recordings as its compositional clay, the work responds closely to the geographies and histories of the site and surrounding area. Sound sources include the nearby docks and harbours, the disused railway, now a corridor for urban nature, which once ran past a blacksmith's forge where the workshop now stands, and the new tower itself, mirroring other tall, signalling structures in the landscape, church towers and lighthouses. On the other hand, the piece variously alters, degrades and filters the context and character of many of these recordings to make something new, where only subtle hints and slight resonances of the source material remain. This process involved both high and low fidelity approaches, combining digital sonifications, granulations and the creation of convolution reverbs with the splicing, manipulation and periodic singeing of physical tape loops. You could therefore think of Concrete Antenna as a sonic topping out ceremony, a process of imbuing the newly built tower with echoes of its past, present and imagined futures. We wanted Concrete Antenna to respond to things that were happening around the tower, so we built in sensors that detect body heat in the courtyard, as well as movement within the tower itself. So the installation reacts to passers-by, it calls them in with a few words, like a snatch of half-remembered dialogue, and then it rewards them with richer sounds and music as they investigate deeper within the triangular space of the tower itself. We use an unusual vertical arrangement of speakers, and this gives the sense of sound falling down the interior of the tower onto the listener. The large-scale structure of the music itself is also shaped by the local environment, but in a different way. As the weather in New Haven changes, the sonic backdrop of the piece shifts accordingly, providing different textures to fair and stormy days. Another important factor is the local tide, and this has a dramatic effect on the piece. It remixes the music as it turns from high tide to low tide and back again. And because of this, visitors to the tower will get an experience that is personal and unique to them, while at the same time appearing as a natural, almost inevitable consequence of the tower's design and the site's history. <laughs> <laughs> 